Pokemon Go creates a fun and free activity that anyone can do. It's a way for people to immediately connect with others as the game organically creates groups and starts conversations. I'll explain what I mean. You'll know someone is playing Pokemon Go when they are screaming with success, shouting in frustration, or simply running around with a screen in their faces. You might think that someone is trying to take a picture of a trash can when in reality, <clears throat> augmented reality, they are trying to catch an Eevee. Augmented reality? What's that? It's the answer to why Pokemon Go is so highly revered. Pokemon Go uses your smartphone's GPS and time clock to immerse a player into the game. Steps you take in real life are steps you take in the game to reach Pokemon. Different Pokemon appear in different geographical environments. For example, if you want a Magikarp, go near a body of water. Ghost-type Pokemon appear in the night when it's dark outside. Pokemon Go also has pinpoints on the virtual map where people can either meet up, battle, or simply wait for Pokemon to come. Pokestops, gyms, and lures, respectively. Not only can you travel to those pinpoint locations, you also have to travel a certain distance to hatch a Pokemon egg, and this is where you can get that exercise in. This game is one of the closest ways that Pokemon fans can fulfill their imaginations of being in a world full of Pokemon. But is Pokemon Go a passing fever? Or will it be part of a social revolution? But Deutsche Bank thinks there are bigger things to come for Nintendo. Despite the substantial success of Pokemon Go in the initial few days since its launch into only three countries, Wii View, Animal Crossing, and Fire Emblem, slated for Fall 2016, and Zelda for Mobile possibly coming in Spring 2017 as the real big hitters to drive Nintendo to score high in mobile. So there you have it. Do you think that Pokemon Go is the next great change in how we interact and what we do for entertainment? How will it affect businesses that have a Pokestop nearby? These are questions that we don't know the answer to yet, and we'll just have to wait to see which steps Nintendo and Niantic will take from here and where this app will go. Let us know how you feel in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.